Hi, and welcome back to the Fabric Studio. Now we're going to learn how to add text to our image. Now the very first thing you need to do is add a layer. So you're going to go to your layer box, and you're going to click on the little plus over here. You're going to add text, so the on the text toolbar, you're going to click on the A, which represents your text. Now you notice up on the third level here, your font appears, your size, and all the other things you're used to seeing in typing in Word. So you're going to select your font, you're going to select your size and other things. And you're also going to select your color. In this case, I'm going to start with brown. And I'm going to start typing. So remember, I'm on layer 2, and I'm going to type the Jones. Now, the next thing you're going to do is go back up to your toolbar and click on Rectangle Select. And holding down your mouse key, you're going to draw a box around the Jones's name. Now, by clicking on Move Select Tools, you'll now be able to move that name, rotate it, make it larger or smaller by holding down the Shift key and dragging it up and placing it exactly where you want it to be. Once you're sure that that's where you want the name Jones to go, you hit your Enter key. Now we're going to add some more text to it. Again, you're going to go back to your layer box. In this case, I'm going to change my font color. I'm going to stick with my Bookman Old, and again I'm going to start typing. This time I'm going to type a street address. Again, we're going to use the most two important tools, the rectangle tool to draw the box, the select pixel tool to select what you're going to move, and then I'm going to place the 3933 Dickens down here. Now, you might want to put one more thing. I usually do things in threes and fives. You might want to put um, a date. You might want to put the city, whatever you like. Now we're ready to save our image. Now, when you've gone through all the work of creating this, I like to save things in two different manners. I want to save it first as an FS file. So I'm going to go to File, and I'm going to go to Save As. And it automatically comes up as an S. FS file. That is our name of our files. Now you do not want to save this over and in your image directory, so you're going to want to save it either on your desktop in a file, and in this case I'm going to go to my folder, and I'm going to save house as an FS file. Alright, the next way you need to save it is a .png file, and this is so it's going to collapse all your layers, and you're going to be able to do the repeat with it. So you're going to go to File, you're going to go to Save As, and I'm going to take my Save As type, and I'm going to go all the way down to .png file. I'm going to save it in the same directory as House, and I'm, or you might want to put Jones's House, or name it however you want, and hit Save. And it's going to ask me if I want to flatten it, and I'm going to say yes. Now all my layers are flattened, and I'm ready to do my repeat.